Welcome back everyone, it's Halo 4 Tutor with another Halo 4 gameplay commentary. As always, you know you're getting my signature tips and tricks to help you improve your own gameplay, start winning a lot more often, and having more fun while you're doing it. Today I'm going to play King of the Hill on the map Haven. This is, without question, my very favorite map in the game. I absolutely love it. Uh, King of the Hill is a great objective game type, classic game, a lot of fun. So let's get started here. Uh, not a lot has changed with King of the Hill. It's kind of uh, a classic mode here. First team to 150 points wins. You earn scores by having a member of your team in the hill. So for every second that you have a team member in the hill, you earn one second. Now that does not overlap. So, you know, if you have two or three or four members of your team in the hill, you're still only getting one point per second. So, uh, you don't need to all cluster together in the hill. That's that's actually really a mistake to have more than one player in the hill at one time. Because uh, one grenade, two grenades are going to come in there and they're going to blow away your whole team at one time. So, best strategy here is to have one, maybe two players in that hill at the same time. Then have other members of your team on the outside of the hill giving you support and waiting to jump in when the time is right if you are taken down. Okay? So, um... You know, also keep in mind with the scoring, if there are uh, players from two different teams in the hill at the same time, nobody scores. Okay, so that's something to keep in mind as well. Uh, if the opposing team is in the hill, sometimes it's best just to run in there and at least stop the clock. Now here I've got the carbine rifle, and this puppy is sweet. You'll see I get a headshot there, assault rifle for the double kill, and then a triple kill here. Uh, keeping the blue players out of the hill, doing a very good job with some hill defense. Um, you know, I've been kind of debating back and forth, uh, DMR, battle rifle, which one's better, and I gotta tell you, I love this carbine rifle. It might be better than both the DMR and the carbine. Uh, I really like it a lot. And you'll see I pick up a lot of really killer headshots with this weapon. The other tip I want to give you is, is when it comes to uh, King of the Hill, you know, you're going to be, uh, you know, dealing, as I get a second double kill there, going to be dealing with a lot of close range combat that's just the nature of a lot of objective type games and with the assault rifle the uh you know the assault rifle has really been upgraded in uh, halo 4 okay it's much more powerful than in previous games and it's very powerful at close range and so i've decided to load out with the assault rifle in this game and it served me very very well i've always been a you know a proponent of precision weapons but uh, the way that they've upgraded the strength of the assault rifle here in Halo 4, it's really not a bad choice, especially if you think you're going to be dealing with a lot of close range combat like I am here. Now look at this, I've got the regen shield. Your armor ability does not work in the hill, but I can certainly use it on the, uh, just on the little perimeter of the hill here. Uh, reboot my shield, and I'm not sure yet if my teammates are going to benefit from that regen shield or not, or if it's just me. But you can't use your armor ability in the hill, but you can step just outside of the hill, throw up that regen field, and then get back into the hill. So um, the other thing that I do very well during this game, and it's a very important tactic to use, is to anticipate the movement of the hill. Now, they've added a new feature in this game, uh, which uh, is when the hill gets down to five seconds or less, they're going to tell you where the next hill is going to spawn. And once you know where that, that next hill is going to be, you're best off just running for that hill. You know, if you want to leave one member of your team behind to occupy the current hill all the way down to the final tick, that's fantastic. But if you've already got a teammate there, uh, you're best off just running down to that next hill. And you'll see I do that several times. You know, I'm looking for the next movement of the hill. You know exactly where it's going to be. And if you can get there before everybody else, you're going to be able to score a lot of really easy, uncontested points. So that's very, very important. Um, let's see. You know, the other thing that you'll notice uh, when I'm when I'm playing this, uh, and it's going to come up a little bit later more, but you want to just take whatever cover you can. So you'll see here that I'm really using my radar. Uh, I'm I'm kind of using this center uh, obstacle uh, to, to kind of navigate around the hill and stay out of the way of any lines of sight. And uh, you're going to see it more so in this next hill here. I'm chasing this guy down. The blue player is going to beat me to the hill, but I'm able to weaken him with a few grenades that I've picked up. And then I'm able to get in there and finish him off for the kill. Um, and fortunately, I'm able to rack up a lot of uncontested time down here. You'll see I'm able to pick up uh, about 20 seconds completely uncontested. But what I want to point out is I'm going to see on my radar a player coming from the left. So what do I do? I scoot all the way against the wall so he cannot see me till the last second. And then by the, by the time he comes around the corner, I'm able to take him down. Now watch this really, this is a sweet carbine shot. The hill's gone. 
Uh, my shields are completely down. Look, I have no shields. I flip around in the lift, and that carbine just melts through that enemy player with the headshot. When that sequence began, I had no health whatsoever, and I was able to take him down completely. So this carbine rifle, I mean, I'm telling you what, it's really a killer weapon. Now, by the time I've kind of figured out what's going on, that hill is directly below us, and I'm just not going to bother going all the way down there because it's going to move by the time I get down. But I noticed that the next hill is going to respawn right here, so I'm right on top of it. And, you know, unfortunately, the entire blue team is all the way down at the bottom. Well, that's fortunate for me, unfortunate for them. They're going to be stuck down there, and it's going to take them a long time to make their way up. And uh, as soon as they start coming up, I pop out of the hill because we've already got a few teammates in there. I'm able to get a, uh, a couple really nice kills right off the bat and just continue to keep these guys out of the hill, right? Um, so you can see that this carbine rifle, man, I, I've kind of lost track of how many headshots I've got here. Um, one of the poll questions I want to ask today is what is going on with the sharks and the mana rays? Like where where did those logos come from? What, what does that have to do with Halo? I have no idea why we have sharks and manta rays to represent the red and the blue team. So that's my poll question today. I want you guys to give me your theories as to why we've got sharks and manta rays representing each team. But uh, I want to thank you all for watching. I hope you picked up some great tips and uh, learned a few things through the gameplay. Uh, please like, comment, and subscribe. Add this video to your favorites. Uh, I have a lot of other gameplay videos on my channel. Make sure to check them out. Also, I have plenty more coming up, so you want to make sure you're subscribed. Thanks for watching. Halo 4 Tutor signing out. I'll see you next time.